So originally I wasn't gonna make a video of this, but then I thought this might be able to help somebody out. So some of this is gonna be pictures rather than video start to finish. But what the issue is, is one of my hydraulic lift arms worked its way off of the spline shaft and bent the um, one component. And I'm gonna put a link in the video description down below that'll show a map of how this hydraulic lift system goes together. Um, and then on that link, it'll tell you the part numbers and all that. If you have a similar issue, you'll know what to order and how it goes together because even the service manual was less than clear. Uh, so let's take a look. So now let's take a look at how it's supposed to be. So I just slid the spline shaft over up against that way and worked the arm back in. Now behind the arm is a plastic sleeve and an O-ring. The O-ring goes in first, then the plastic sleeve, and then the hydraulic lift arm, which is this component here, goes onto the spline shaft. Then we have what's called the link control. This is what the link control looks like when it's good and not all mangled. This is what mine looked like after the hydraulic lift arm worked its way off and bent it all up. So once we have the hydraulic lift arm all put back together the way I just described, make sure both lift arms are the same height when you work this onto the spline shaft. And it's not easy to mess this up. If you're off even by a single tooth, you will definitely notice it. So not a big deal there. That's gonna be very common sense getting these level. Once you do that, your link control is just gonna bolt right onto the spline shaft. So once you have the O-ring and the plastic sleeve components in there and the hydraulic lift arms at the same height and you've put them back on the spline shaft, you then have the link control that bolts on and that's what holds this link arm on on this side. On the other side, there's a sur clip that again, you'll see in the diagram in the video des description um, link I'm posting. From there, you'll then have this connecting arm that goes on and this goes up to the three point control. Then a washer and then a cotter pin. And that's all there is to this section here of the hydraulic lift arm and three point setup. And so now that we fixed it, I wanted to know what actually caused it. And I think what it is, is I noticed some of my implements when I had the three point on here would catch on this side and hang up. So where that side was dropping all the way down, the driver's side was catching. And that was putting this at an uneven angle. And I think over time, it just worked this hydraulic lift arm off. So I need to make sure I have my three point adjusted correctly and keep an eye on, make sure nothing's snagging back here and hanging up on one side or the other. So again, I'll put a link in the video description down below on a diagram and what these parts are called and the part number. So if you do need any help with this, you can go to your local dealer and get what you need and know what they're called. Um, other than that, I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, please hit it with a like or subscribe. It's going to be a lot more stuff uh, with this Kubota coming. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.